Sometimes a good lineup of modifications or additions to something can really take things to the next level and make them so much more functional and sometimes can even help you not waste money. How's it going? I'm Jared Gillis. Welcome to another All About RVs. Today, we're going to be talking about the modifications that we have done to our truck for RVing. And some of them are going to be modifications that we're kind of hoping to do in the future. But I want to give you the list of some of my favorite modifications that make the truck so much more useful. So let's go ahead and dive into this and start in the back. So this first one is something that we did to the truck in the very beginning when we first got it a few years ago with a handful of other modifications. And starting off with this one is the Timberin helper spring. And it's like an airless airbag in there that kind of self adjusts. And that's the reason why we went with it is because I didn't want to mess with having to adjust the airbags anymore. And so these kind of self adjust. They have a little bit of an air gap underneath there. So when you're driving the truck without a load on there, it, you're not really using much of it because there's that air gap so that it's not really being activated. But when you put the fifth wheel on there and you have a load on there, that's when they start helping out. So they're kind of self-adjusting helper springs that are on the truck. Now with a 3,500 truck and the fifth wheel that we have, it's a little bit debatable whether we needed them or not. If I were to go with the airbags, I would do the onboard air. And that's another modification that I would add to the list of would be extremely helpful that we don't have yet is onboard air. Having that air compressor already mounted on here, you could flip on a switch, have it turn on and be ready to go would be fantastic. So if you did airbags and you had the onboard air, it would be a nice addition to be able to have. Just be able to have that port in the back of the truck or on the, the bumper to be able to air up the tires on the trailer or the truck would be extremely useful. So that might be one that we add on in the future, the onboard air, not that we need it for the Timberins because they don't take air, but it would be extremely useful and functional for RVing. Now the current air compressor that we have is just this Vi-Air portable one and we keep it behind the seat of the truck and it's, it's been solid. We have used it a ton and it has served us well. And it's not really that difficult to pull out, connect into the batteries and air up the, the RV tires or the truck tires. It's just that onboard one. It's just that one more layer of simplicity where you just flip on a switch, pull out the hose and air up whatever you need to air up. And the thing is with that, if it's just that much easier and it's not really a big deal, you're probably more apt to keep on top of the tires, which is an important thing to make sure that they're properly inflated. But with this working so well, it's hard for me to wanna spend money on something that would be purely out of convenience. It'd be nice, but it would be out of just convenience. Now this little area represents three different modifications that we've done to the truck. And some of these come stock, like the seven way pin connector, but we added this in on our truck because we tow with a fifth wheel, being able to make that connection inside the bed of the truck and not have to go over the tailgate to be able to connect in the seven way pin for the fifth wheel is great. It makes it so much easier just being able to plug it into the, the bed of the truck here. So it's a really simple thing that we got from e-trailer and it just has the wire that connects from down to here, down to the back of the seven way pin. So we didn't even really have to rewire anything. You just connect it down into the back of the seven way pin below there. And then you have one in the bed of your truck. So the other one that we did is we put in the bed liner. We didn't have much time to get it scheduled and have it sprayed in. So this was just one of those that you can do yourself at home and it's done okay. You can see right in here in this area where we always use the propane tanks to be able to go and fill them up. Uh, it is starting to wear through that bed liner so it could be touched up, but overall three years, do it yourself and it really wasn't that expensive. It's held up fairly well. You can start to see where it's, it's wearing off, but Considering the, the price and time, it's performed how I expected it to. Now, another modification is this Anderson plug right here, which is connected to our, our batteries and alternator in the engine and gives us additional power back here with a larger gauge wire. So we use that to be able to connect to the fifth wheel with the DC to DC charger uh, to be able to charge the lithium batteries in our RV better, but it also gives me the ability to have a bigger port back here for having 12 volt. So if I had a bladder in the back here that I wanted to transfer water into the fifth wheel, I can have a pump that is already connected into this Anderson plug, just plug it in and pump that fresh water into the fifth wheel. So it's a handy little modification that has multiple uses for the truck and RV. 
Now, here's one that I did not expect to like near as much as I did, and it's a bigger fuel tank. So we were able to go from a 32 gallon tank to a 55 gallon tank. And oh my goodness, what a difference it has made for RVing. For number one, we love the ability to have more fuel on hand. So we can choose where we want to buy that fuel and it has helped us not waste money. We don't have to buy the extremely high prices. We can go farther and hit the, the lower prices comparatively to what we're seeing out there. Number two, we can go greater distances. So we get to choose to where we want to stop and use the restroom. We don't have to stop because we're running out of fuel. So quickly in the day. And the third reason we like this larger fuel tank is we can have more fuel on hand. So we typically like to keep it topped off or above half because we were in Florida when they had that fuel shortage crisis where there was no fuel kind of in the, the Southeast. And we had to scramble around to get diesel fuel. So if we can have more fuel on hand, we can get out of those areas easier and get to the fuel. So more fuel on hand, we can go greater distances and we can choose where we want to shop for our fuel. So overall, that has been a fantastic fantastic upgrade modification that we were able to do to this truck. So this last year, we added this next one, which is this toolbox, which is a, a lockable weatherproof storage within the bed of the truck. So that way, some of the things that we wanted to store in the truck or take with us don't have to end up in the back seat if it's raining or we're running into a store. We have a lockable solution to be able to keep some of that stuff out of sight and out of mind. So this toolbox has worked great for us. I love that it's kind of flush with the, the rails of the bed back here. And so it's even less visible being back there. But if I were to do a cover. I really like that backflip bed cover. I installed one on my father-in-law's last year and it installed really easy. I loved how secure it was and that it covered the entire bed. So uh, if you wanted to have some kind of solution for storage in the back that is secure, that I think was a great option. This toolbox has worked out really well for us and glad we have the extra storage in the bed of the truck. Now this one is so simple and so inexpensive, but it has to be mentioned because it is so functional and it's the little phone mount that we mounted to the dash. So it's a magnet mount and every time I get in the truck, that's where the phone goes. And it comes in so useful for RVing because the phone is our tire pressure monitor system. So if there's gonna be a change in the pressure or temperature of the tires on the RV, this is going to alert us and it's gonna be right there on the dash. It's also our GPS where we can input the size of the fifth wheel and the truck in there so we don't get on a route that we shouldn't be on, a, a clearance or a road that has too tight of turns. Uh, this is going to be right there giving us that, that navigation. So, so useful, so functional, so simple. I love solutions like that. Now, the other thing that I think you might've heard beeping in the background is this year we added a dash camera. And so we did a whole video on that and the uh, what it can do, what it gives us and uh, the functionality of it and why we have it on the, on the truck. But we love having the dash cam in here for any variable that might happen on the road, we can have record of it and it is recorded. So the dash camera is a, a great solution for inside the cab of the truck. Now this last one is on my wish list and I wish we had a dual alternator set up on the truck with a high output at idle alternator. So that way we could pretty much ditch the, the generator for the RV because we'd be able to charge up the batteries quickly, effectively with a lot of power and then we can use the inverter on the RV and not need a generator at all. If the, the solar wasn't producing or it was cloudy or rainy for a couple of days, it just gives you a lot more flexibility. Now, the reason we haven't added a second alternator yet is because the cost was just too high. It was cheaper to get a generator for the RV than it was to add a second alternator in here. So I would love to hear from you guys. If you have found a cost-effective solution to add a second alternator on the truck, I'd love to hear that down in the comments. And also, if you've done a modification to your truck that has really made it that much more functional for RVing or just a, a great modification to your truck, uh, leave that down in the comments. I'd love to learn from you guys what what you have done and solutions that have worked for you. So I think that's going to do it for today. That was our, our list of modifications that we have done to our truck that have made it uh, very useful and functional for us while RVing. So like I said, that's going to do it for today. If you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more videos about RVing, hit that subscribe button. And if we don't see you on the road, hopefully we will see you next video.